Gannett Co., Inc. is a publicly traded American media holding company headquartered in Tyson's Corner, Virginia, near McLean in Greater Washington, D.C. It is the largest U.S. newspaper publisher as measured by total daily circulation. Its assets include the national newspaper USA Today and the erstwhile weekly pullout magazine USA Weekend which is found in local newspapers including some non-Gannett newspapers. Its largest non-national newspaper is the Detroit Free Press in Detroit, Michigan. Other significant newspapers include the Indianapolis Star, the Cincinnati Inquirer, the Tennessean in Nashville, Tennessee, the Courier Journal in Louisville, Kentucky, the Democrat and Chronicle in Rochester, New York, the Des Moines Register, the Arizona Republic in Phoenix, Arizona, the News Press in Fort Myers, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, and the Great Falls Tribune. In 2015, Gannett Co., Inc., spun off its publishing business into a separate publicly traded entity, while retaining the Internet Media Divisions. Immediately following the spin-off, the former parent company Gannett Co., Inc. renamed itself Tegna and owns approximately 50 TV stations. The spun-off publishing business renamed itself Gannett. Topic History Gannett Company, Inc., was formed in 1923 by Frank Gannett in Rochester, New York, as an outgrowth of the Elmira Gazette, a newspaper business he had begun in Elmira, New York, in 1906. Gannett, who was known as a conservative, gained fame and fortune by purchasing small independent newspapers and developing them into a large chain, a 20th-century trend that helped the newspaper industry remain financially viable. By 1979, the chain had grown to 79 newspapers. In 1979, Gannett acquired Combined Communications Corp., operator of two major daily newspapers, the Oakland Tribune and the Cincinnati Inquirer, seven television stations, 13 radio stations, as well as an outdoor advertising division, for $370 million. The outdoor advertising became known as Gannett Outdoor, before being acquired by Outdoor Systems previously a division of 3M, before the company was sold to Infinity Broadcasting, which later became part of Viacom, and was part of CBS Corporation, until 2014 when CBS Outdoor went independent and became Outfront Media. The company was headquartered in Rochester until 1986, when it moved to Arlington County, Virginia. Its former headquarters building, the Gannett Building, was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1985. Gannett's oldest newspaper still in circulation is the Leaf Chronicle located in Clarksville, Tennessee. In 2001, the company moved to its current headquarters in Tyson's Corner, a suburb of Washington, D.C. Beginning in 2005 at the Fort Myers News Press, Gannett pioneered the Mojo concept of mobile multimedia journalists, reporters who were initially untethered from conventional newsrooms and drove around their communities filing hyperlocal news via Wi-Fi in various formats including text for print publication, still photos for print and online publication, and audio and video for the News Press website. The practice has spread throughout the chain. On March 7, 2011, Gannett replaced the stylized G logo in use since the 1970s, notably used on its TV stations as a corporate, local ID with different animations, and adopted a new company tagline, It's All Within Reach. In 2010, Gannett increased executive salaries and bonuses. For example, Bob Dickey, Gannett's U.S. newspapers division president, was paid $3.4 million in 2010, up from $1.9 million the previous year. The next year, the company laid off 700 U.S. employees to cut costs. In the memo announcing the layoffs, Dickey wrote, While we have sought many ways to reduce costs, I regret to tell you that we will not be able to avoid layoffs. In February 2012, Gannett announced that it would implement a paywall system across all of its daily newspaper websites, with non-subscriber access will be limited to between 5 and 15 articles per month, varying by newspaper. The USA Today website became the only one to allow unrestricted access. On March 24, 2012, the company announced that it would discipline 25 employees in Wisconsin who had signed the petition to recall Governor Scott Walker, stating that this open public participation in a political process was a violation of the company's code of journalistic ethics and that their primary responsibility as journalists was to maintain credibility and public trust in themselves and the organization. On August 21, 20 
2012, Gannett acquired Blink Media. Around the first week of October 2012, Gannett entered a dispute against Dish Network regarding compensation fees and Dish's AutoHop commercial skip feature on its Hopper digital video recorders. Gannett ordered that Dish discontinue AutoHop on the account that it is affecting advertising revenues for Gannett's television station. Gannett threatened to pull all of its stations should the skirmish continue beyond October 7, and Dish and Gannett failed to reach an agreement. The two parties eventually reached an agreement after extending the deadline for a few hours. Gannett announced it would not be delaying print deadlines for the 2018 midterm elections in the United States, meaning that next day newspapers would no longer contain the election's results, instead, directing readers to the Internet. In January 2019, newspaper chain MNG Enterprises announced it had offered to buy Gannett in a deal valued at $1.36 billion. Topic. Acquisition of Bellow Corporation On June 13, 2013, Gannett announced plans to buy Dallas-based Bellow Corporation for $1.5 billion and the assumption of debt. The purchase would add 20 additional stations to Gannett's portfolio and make the company the fourth-largest television broadcaster in the U.S. with 43 stations. Because of ownership conflicts that exist in markets where both Bellow and Gannett own television stations and newspapers, the use of a third-party company Sander Media, LLC, owned by former Bellow executive Jack Sander as a licensee to buy stations to be operated by the owner of a same-market competitor and concerns about any possible future consolidation of operations of Gannett and Bellow-owned properties in markets where both own television stations or collusion involving the Gannett and Sander stations in retransmission transmission consent negotiations, anti-media consolidation groups such as free press and pay television providers such as Time Warner Cable and DirecTV have called for the FCC to block the acquisition. On December 16, 2013, the United States Department of Justice announced that Gannett, Bellow, and Sander would need to divest Bellow's station in St. Louis, KMOV, to a government-approved third party that would be barred from entering into any agreements with Gannett, in order to fully preserve competition in advertising sales with Gannett-owned KSDK. The deal was approved by the FCC on December 20, and it was completed on December 23. On February 28, 2014, Meredith Corporation officially took over full control of KMOV. Topic acquisition of London Broadcasting Company stations On May 14, 2014, Gannett announced the acquisition of six stations from the Texas-based London Broadcasting Company in a $215 million deal, including KCEN-TV in Waco Temple Bryan, KYTX CBS in Tyler Longview, KIII ABC in Corpus Christi, KBMT ABC, NBC in Beaumont Port Arthur, KXVA Fox in Abilene Sweetwater and KIDY Fox in San Angelo. The company's COO Phil Hurley will also join Gannett to continue his leadership role at the six stations. The acquisition was completed on July 8, 2014. In total, Gannett stations now serve 83% of households in the state. Post acquisition, Gannett now outright owns and operates their first Fox affiliates, KIDY and KXVA. Topic. Split and further deals On August 5, 2014, Gannett announced that it plans to split into two independent publicly traded companies, one focusing on its newspapers and publishing, which will retain the Gannett name, and one on broadcasting. Robert Dickey—who currently leads Gannett's newspaper group will serve as CEO of the former company, leaving Gannett's remaining broadcasting and digital operations under the leadership of Martor. In a statement, she explained that the split plans were, "...significant next steps in our ongoing initiatives to increase shareholder value by building scale, increasing cash flow, sharpening management focus, and strengthening all of our businesses to compete effectively in today's increasingly digital landscape." Additionally, the company announced that it would buy out the remainder of Classified Ventures, a joint venture between Gannett and several other media companies, for $1.8 billion, giving it full ownership of properties such as Cars.com. 
On April 21, 2015, Gannett announced that the publishing arm would continue to use the Gannett name, while the broadcasting and digital company would be named Tegna. An anagram of Gannett. The split was completed on June 29, 2015. The split was structured so that the old Gannett changed its name to Tegna, and then spun off its publishing interests as a new Gannett company. The two companies still share a headquarters complex. On October 7, 2015, Gannett struck a deal to buy the Journal Media Group for $280 million, giving it control of publications in over 100 markets in the Midwestern and Southern U.S. similar to what Gannett had earlier done with its broadcasting assets. The Milwaukee-based journal had separated its publishing and broadcasting arms in April 2015, with the E.W. Scripps Company acquiring the television and radio properties owned by the former's technical predecessor Journal Communications and spinning out their respective publishing operations into Journal Media Group. In December 2015, Gannett announced that its local newspapers would be branded as the USA Today Network, signifying a closer association with the national USA Today paper. In April 2016, Gannett made an unsolicited bid to acquire the Tribune Publishing Company for $12.25 per share, or around $400 million. This deal was rejected by Tribune's shareholders in May 2016. In turn, Gannett increased its offer to around $15 per share, around $800 million. Although the two companies held talks during the summer and into the fall of 2016, disappointing earning reports for Gannett for the second and third quarters of 2016 caused Gannett to pull out of talks on November 1. The company received an unsolicited proposal to acquire the company from Digital First Media on January 14, 2019. Digital First Media offered $1.36 billion for Gannett. The offer letter stated that Digital First Media can run the company more profitably via tight cost controls and consolidation of operations such as printing and administration. Topic acquisitions 1906 Elmira Gazette 1912 The Ithaca Journal 1928 Democrat and Chronicle 1959 Courier Post 1969 Pensacola News Journal 1971 Federated Publications 1971 Honolulu Star Bulletin 1972 Pacific and Southern Company, Inc. Taken over by Combined Communications 1976 Tucson Citizen 1977 The Poughkeepsie Journal 1977 Spy Title Newspapers 1978 Combined Communications, owner of newspapers, television stations, radio stations and outdoor advertising 1979 The News Journal Company, from DuPont 1979 The Tennessean 1982 Mississippi Publishers, owner of the Clarion Ledger 1983 WTCN TV now care from Metro Media and WLVI from Field Communications 1985 Des Moines Register and Tribune Co. 1985 Family Weekly, from CBS 1986 Courier Journal and Louisville Times Company 1986 Evening News Association and the Detroit News 1986 Arkansas Gazette 1990 Great Falls Tribune 1991 New Jersey Publishing 1992 The Honolulu Advertiser 1995 Multimedia, Broadcaster and Publisher 1997 Army Times Publishing Company 1997 Asbury Park Press and Home News Tribune 1998 Daily Record 1999 NewsQuest, newspaper and trade publisher in the United Kingdom. Websites include the Glasgow-based job board S1Jobs.com and Exchange and Mart. 2000 News Communications and Media, newspaper publisher in the United Kingdom 2000 Central Newspapers, 6 Daily Newspapers 2001-21 Newspapers from Thomson Newspapers 2001 Surrey and Sussex Publishing, Horley Publishing, and Dimbleby Newspaper Group, newspaper publishers in the United Kingdom 2003 Clipper Magazine 2003 3 Newspapers from Scottish Media Group 2005 Detroit Free Press and Tallahassee Democrat from Knight Ritter 2006 WATL from Tribune Company and KTVD from Newsweb Corporation. 2013 Bello, 20 TV stations in 15 markets, plus four regional cable news networks 2014 6 TV stations in Texas from London Broadcasting Co. 2015 acquired remaining 56. 36% ownership in Texas New Mexico Newspapers Partnerships, acquiring control of 11 papers in three states. 
2015 Romains Media Group, UK regional publisher 2015 Company renamed to Tegna, spin-off of print assets to new company retaining Gannett name 2016 Journal Media Group 2016 Reach Local 2016 North Jersey Media Group 2016 Golf Week 2018 Wordstream equals equals list of Gannett Co. Assets equals equals Gannett's media properties include the following newspapers among the top 100 by circulation in the United States. Topic: Print media. The Times Herald of Port Huron, Michigan. GRFF. Blog of Glen Rock, New Jersey. USA Today of Tyson's Corner, Virginia. The Arizona Republic of Phoenix, Arizona Detroit Free Press of Detroit, Michigan El Paso Times of El Paso, Texas The Journal Sentinel of Milwaukee, Wisconsin The Indianapolis Star of Indianapolis, Indiana The Record of Bergen County, New Jersey The Cincinnati Inquirer of Cincinnati, Ohio The Courier Journal of Louisville, Kentucky the Des Moines Register of Des Moines, Iowa The Tennessean of Nashville, Tennessee Democrat and Chronicle of Rochester, New York The Commercial Appeal of Memphis, Tennessee Asbury Park Press of Asbury Park, New Jersey The News Journal of Wilmington, Delaware The News Sentinel of Knoxville, Tennessee The Journal News of White Plains, New York Reno Gazette Journal of Reno, Nevada Topic. Significant digital investments Dig sold to Bicelids in April 2018 Wordstream Topic. Directors and senior executives On October 6, 2011, Gannett's chairman, president and chief executive officer Craig A. Dubo resigned, citing health reasons. He was succeeded by Gracia Martor, Gannett's chief operating officer, a 26-year company veteran. Gannett has a 10-member board of directors and 11 senior executives. Post-split, Tegna retained Martor as the CEO, and Gannett promoted the newspaper chief Robert Dickey to be the new CEO.